Hello everyone. Welcome to Professional Cipher. Today we are going to build an exciting project. Name of the project is Color Detection Using Python OpenCV. So let's see, right? So here you can see three files in our project: color detection.py, colors.csv, then a testing image which is picture.jpg. So we will get into into the code very detailedly later. Let's see what the CSV is. You can see like here, first the name of the color, then the text to be printed, then there are the RGB values, right? You can see last three values, last three comma separated values as the RGB. Then coming to the image you have seen here. Now the code. The code is important part. Let's see how to and what to write. Okay, here you can see that first we are importing the libraries we need. CV2, which is the Open CV, NumPy, Pandas. Pandas is an important library in this project as we will use Pandas to get the data from the CSV, right? Also, we provide the image using argument here. We provide the name of the image. Instead, we provide the name of the, we provide the path of the image as argument when we execute the code. So let's see how we collect the argument in the code. Here you can see that argbox. We are using the argpass here. Then get the argument. Finally, we initialize the image path variable with the image path we inputted. Using the image path, we can read the image and then declaring a global variable so that we can use it anywhere when we want. So we have got the image. We have stored the image in the image image variable. You can see that we are storing R, G, B, all these variables, initializing them with zeros. Then you can see that we are reading the CSV file, which is an important part. Okay, here you can see that first we are reading the CSV, then we are converting it into a pandas data frame so that we can easily traverse through the data frame where whenever we want, wherever we want to go. Okay, so after using pd dot read csv, which is which is used to read the csv, we are making it into a data frame using the pd command, which is pandas imported as pd. Okay, now comes the main function, which is used to get the color. Okay, here you can see that the inputs are red, green, and blue. The RGB channel inputs. Then what we do is we go to we go through each color in the csv. We saw earlier there are a lot of colors. We go through each colors. And what we do is we take the difference between the RGB channels of our image or by meaning image what I mean is the point which we want the image color of and that of the RGB values in the CSV. So you can see that finally we are returning the color with least difference between our color. So by default we will get the best color in our CSV corresponding to the color we selected using our cursor. So now let's see how we will use it to draw function, right? Okay, here you can see that event L button click. So basically what this function is doing is we move our mouse and point to a place and then click. After clicking that image, that, that RGB channel will be captured. You can see how we are getting it. Okay, here you can see we are taking the INT values of the RGB. Finally, we name the frame as image and set mouse callback to get the mouse returns. This is the part where OpenCV actually comes. So here by while one, we are trying to imitate frame by frame. Okay, frame by frame. And by then, if click. So whenever we click, the function is triggered. So you can see the comment here. Okay, here we capture the open CV as a rectangle and now you can see that by rectangle what we means the point where the color where we need. So when we click somewhere that portion is taken, then we use the color channel in that portion to get the color we need. So here you can see the text equal to get color name. So we had defined the function very earlier. Now we are, what we are doing is we are taking the RGB inputs and feeding it as argument to the function. 
now we got the color name as text so text contains the string of uh, the color we detected right so you you saw how we use pandas and then other libraries like opencv and numpy here now we finally display the text displaying is an important part so here cv2.put text is used to display uh, the color we detected which we will see later in our demonstration uh, where i will show you how well the image the color detector is working okay finally what we are doing is uh, showing some uh, for very light colors we will display text in black okay that's a good idea right like if the font color was white if the color is white we won't be able to show it very well so that's how we handle that kind of situations finally our aim is done so we break the loop when user hits escape so here that's the, that you should remember you can add a feature like you can also display press escape to close so whenever we click escape the video will be close the open cv file that was open will be close okay let's see how it's executed right that's the important part okay here you can see python color detection.py then we pass arguments like minus i minus i indicating it's an image then we pass the image name so here image name but i am giving the image name because the image and the python file is in the same directory but if your image is in somewhere just copy the path and uh, input the path that would be the better way here you can see the code we written with all the syntax and all okay so this is the test image just to start executing now let's execute and see right okay i'm very excited to see because the image we have is very colorful we should be able to get different colors that's the important feature of this project it's not like red green blue it's giving very specific colors yes you can see smoky black lemon regalla so that the uh, the specificity of the color is the important part here forest green no texas so you can see the cursor moving that's the important part yes it's it's giving very peculiar so uh, i would suggest if you want more peculiar color names you should have a csv with more wide variety of colors so it's all dependent on csv okay you can see gray black and all i'm just testing as much as i can to show to show you the wide variety of colors we have so that was the project i hope you found this video very helpful thanks for watching subscribe to professional cipher